Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new glitch that you can do, which is going to allow you to get out of the bounds. And not only this, you are going to be able to rune farm. We first want to arrive at the hidden path and then make our way towards the right side so that we head towards the catacombs. Now, as you are sprinting with your mount, I would highly suggest sticking to the right side. So this way it's just easy for you to find the entrance to this catacomb. Once you have found it, we are going to open up the door, which I have already done. And now if we head directly upstairs, we can then find the Lost Grace. Let's interact with it so that we can have it officially claimed. If you already have this, then feel free to fast travel. Now that we are officially at the consecrated snow-filled catacombs, you have now officially arrived at the first step. What we want to do is then head downstairs so that we are now officially outside. You're going to notice that there's this rock on the left side. And what we want to do is we want to turn around and we want to jump up and then double jump over here and then jump up a little bit so that you're hanging right here on the edge. What you want to do is delay the double jump by just a little bit so that you land on this ledge, then jump up to the next. Then you'll notice that you can't get up there unless you go to this right side, then jump to the left, jump to the right, then jump up to this, and then now you're officially outside of the map. It's pretty easy to get down, I'm not gonna lie, and I had a blast finding this. So what you can do is you can explore this whole entire area if you choose to. There are a few things that may be a concern, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Yet for now, let's talk about how can you get to the rune farm. Well, from the starting point, what we want to do is head to the right side. And the best way to go about this is if I just show you directly where we just were. So let's let's go back to that one spot. We are now at the beginning where we just jumped over and went outside of the map. What we want to do is head to the right side. And as you continue forward, you can go around this side and then take the right path around. As you do so, you can then go down here and then jump off the map. Now, a lot of you are familiar with this because it's just been around and there's different methods. Uh, I found a few spots. This is just one of those extra spots that you can do. What I suggest though is right here, when you do double jump, just jump right here. You do not need to you know, go exactly where I went, but just kind of jump towards the middle so that you are not falling on top of any rocks that's the main idea continue to slash away note that you do not need to slash a ton you know like every second you don't need to continuously slash just slash every five to maybe even seven seconds do this before your animation death goes through because that's what's gonna ultimately uh, cause some issues you know you'll just basically have to restart and nobody wants to do that so anyways as you drop, you will notice 30 seconds into dropping that the runes are going to pop up. It can continuously drop, just, you know, you can wait there and let it continue on. This is about me dropping about, I don't know, 200 or 300 something in. I, I rune farmed the heck out of this spot, so this is why you are seeing so many runes on the bottom there, because I have 50 million. And this is all because of me just constantly jumping over, going back, and just to show you how many runes you can acquire up to an hour. Are there better spots? Possibly. This is just another spot to show you just in case you are having some sort of problems with maybe this spot towards Ordina or maybe even the Dynasty locations, all that stuff. So this is just something that I wanted to provide for you guys that is just an alternative method. Uh, we are also going to be talking about some problems because this can essentially cause some issues for PvP. Why is that? Well, I'm not really too sure how known of an area this is for PvP uh, because essentially, you know, you got the lake, which everyone PvPs at, at the academy and whatnot. Of course, you got the people AFK and up at the bridge. Well, the main thing here is this could potentially lead to an AFK spot. Uh, so I guess that's kind of a negative about it. Uh, but for the most part, you get two glitches with this. You get an out of the bounds and you are now able to acquire a good amount of runes. And I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you are new, subscribe, turn on the notifications. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to answer them. Other than that, if you are a member, I appreciate you guys still sticking around and supporting the channel. I appreciate every one of you that is subscribed and you do come by to stop and leave a comment of some sort. So it's all cool. Uh, so yeah, other than that, hope you all are having a great day out there and I'll see you all on the next video.